Hi everyone. Um, today's art journal prompt week three is music. Um, I've got no plan as yet as to what I'm going to do with it but all I know is that I wanted to do this treble clef as my main focal image. Um, I'm going to use my hot glue gun um, to make the template and I've just drawn this treble clef on a piece of parchment paper um, and I'm going to go round the outline with my hot glue gun. I'm going to do it off camera because I need to concentrate on what I'm doing and I need to get um, up close as, as well um, but as soon as I've done that I shall come back. Right okay so this is what it looks like and it's had time um, to dry now it hasn't taken very long at all. Um, I've still got my glue gun heated up at the ready though just in case it um, peels off and it hasn't worked and I need to do it again so I am just going to peel it off the parchment paper Oh, that is not too bad and then you can just trim sort of any little bits that aren't quite supposed to be there just and in fact actually that bit there in the center is a bit thin I might need to go over that with my glue gun that bit there needs trimming trimming off and then what I want to do is gesso this um, so that I can I can paint it but I am pretty pretty happy with with that that is not too bad at all right okay so here um, is my treble clef and um, I ended up coating it in gesso I only bothered with the front I didn't really bother with the back um, and then I've used my gold Inca gold um, just to give it a coat um, on the top so that's my focal um, image which might be a bit large for my page but um, I don't know there we go we're going with it um, and then I've pulled out a few bits and pieces that I thought I might um, use I've printed off my quote music is what feelings sound like so that's going to go with my um, treble treble clef um, I've got my music um, stamp this was on a wooden block and I've taken um, it off and then I've got an old music score as well and I thought I might use some of the pages here um, I mean these are these are just absolutely lovely um, in fact actually let's just just tear some tear some out um, There we go, and I want some music um, as well. There we go, I want some different pieces here. Let's have a bit off the back here. Um, and then we could have a bit off the front as well, couldn't we? So let's have a look and see what we can do with this. Now, I've um, got my piece of mixed media paper um, and instead of cutting it um, on my guillotine, this time I've, I've cut the pages using my ruler as a guide. So I've literally sort of torn it to size, but just used this to, to tear the pages. Um, so, right, what have I done with my glue? Um, right, so I'm going to grab some Mod Podge and then I'll right, come back. So I've cut, um, well, torn some of the pages out from that book that I just showed you. Um, and I think that's how I'm going to lay it out. So I'm just going to go away now and glue this down. Right, okay, so I've glued all my pieces of paper down um, with some modelling paste. Uh, not modelling paste, matte medium even. Um, and I like the way that that looks. Um, but I just want to break it up with some modelling paste and just add some texture. So I've got my um, Galleria, mine is the Windsor & Newton Galleria um, modelling paste and I'm just going to add a little bit onto my palette knife and let's have a look, let's just spread some of this on, here we go. I'm just going to add that, I think, in about three different places. Some in the middle. There we are. I've squashed some of it, but um, but that's okay. There we are. And um, I'm just going to allow that to dry now um, and then I'll come back. Right, okay. Now I want to um, do the edges first and I've got two colours of um, Distress inks in sort of vintagey colours. I've got brushed corduroy and aged mahogany and I think I'm going to use the brushed corduroy. So I've got a makeup sponge which I'm just sort of curling up into a ball 
and I'm coming in from the edge like this and I just want to try and just distress um, the edge of this slightly. So I'm coming in sort of off the edge of my page just to you know try and blend it um, in. I don't do vintagey pages, it's not normally my style, but I'm trying to sort of you know try try new things. So bear with me because you know sometimes these might be a complete flop, but you don't know until you till you try, do you? So um you know we shall we shall see. I think it's good sometimes to sort of you know get out of your, your comfort zone. I'm just going to try and sort of bring this um, into the centre here. There we go. Um, so I'm liking that and in fact what I want to do I think as well is just go around the edges just a bit more just to darken darken it a bit more whilst I've still got that ink on hand and that was why I tore the pages as opposed to cutting them um, because I thought it, it just takes the ink better and so you get sort of like a, a harder a harder line so here you go my challenge for you this week is like me to try something that you wouldn't normally do try a different style go outside your your comfort zone you never know what you can achieve until you till you try it right okay so I think I'm happy with that and then I've got my paints that um, Linda Cooper Pierce gave me in my happy mail here they are these are the artist um, loft paints um, and I've tried to wet some of the golds and um, and and browns here, and greys, just to sort of you know try and sort of stick with. In fact, I'm going to spray it with water first and try and get it to to blend. I'm using silver and golds and just to try and and you see this is just lovely. And also you see that um, because the Distress um, inks are water reactive, um, I'm getting something from, from that too. Um, let's try a brown colour, which one I'm going to go for this one here. I'm not sure whether you can um, see this. These are the metallic ones and the colours are just absolutely gorgeous. And so I just thought these would look really nice with this piece here. I want to use a bit of sort of like um, a vintagey green as well because I've got green sort of in here and I'm just going to sort of add some colours that um, I think might look nice with my with my piece and these have just got the most gorgeous shimmer. You see that's just just lovely. And then I want to add sort of like a, a gold. What have I got? I've got this yellow, so let's um, add some of that. I should have uh, grabbed some clean, clean water. I'm naughty. I'll have to go and clean these up afterwards. And then what do I want to add? I want some of this sort of minky, minky colour as well. Sort of like a champagne colour. 
Okay, so this is how I'm looking and I must admit I've gone round the edge again just to darken the edge slightly. Um, and so, so now I just want to try and assemble um, my pieces. I've grunged up, my, look at the state of my hands, I've grunged up my um, treble clef and all I did was I went over the top with the um, brushed corduroy and just stamped straight over the top of it. Um, and then I went round the edge with black um, archival ink like that and then just added a bit of archival to the top just because you know it was just too clean it just didn't go with the vintage theme um, and then I need to do the same with these pieces here these are the pieces that I've got that um, I want to layer and I've also got this piece of well, I'm not really sure what um, what this is it was wrapped around a bunch of pencils or something I've had it for goodness knows how long um, but again I thought I might be able to um, incorporate this into a piece so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to ink around the edges of all these bits. I think I might stamp with my music stamp just on the edge of, of this one here, just to sort of, you know, incorporate some, some interest. So in fact, let's do that now. Um, so I'm going to use my black um, ink pad here to do that. So. Let's do that. And then again, as I say, I shall ink around um, the edges. I'm going to go over the top. I don't want this looking too, too uniform and neat. Um, and I think I'm going to do the same with, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave that as, as it is. So I'm going to ink around the edges of these bits here. Um, I need to grunge this up as well, and I'm not quite sure. What I think I'll do is sort of bring in some of the distress Let's take this off for a second. Let's have a look and see if we can play with some water and um, try and get something going on with this here. And then let's just do that like that and add some water. And then maybe we can just here we go, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to dry that. I like that as it is. Um, so, and then let's ink around the edges so that you can see what I'm doing whilst we're leaving that to dry. Do you know, I'm really enjoying this. I feel completely out of my comfort zone because of course, normally I'm used to my bright colors, but it's just so nice to do something different. Um, so, there we go. Um, that's my aim this year, sort of art-wise. I want to try as many new things as I can and push myself. Um, I think it's good, good to do that, isn't it? And shall we just come in a bit along the edge there, bunge it up a bit? Yep, yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? Right, there we go. And we'll add some more to this tea bag grunge that up a bit more. And again, I'm going to go around the edge of this as well. Right, okay, so all my bits have had um, a bit of a, a grunge. Um, here we go. So I just need to start layering now. Um, and again, I've got a feeling that this is looking much darker on camera than it, than it really is. I think I must have done something to um, my settings, but I'm not quite sure um, what. So I want to layer my pieces, something something like this. Um, again, what I think I'll do is um, just go off camera with my glue gun and just have a bit of a play. Um, I just want to play around with the, the composition and just make sure that um, everything is just balanced um, but something like that, and I need to grunge this up as well. In fact, I ought to spray my fingers, which are just completely sort of covered, and just grunge it up like like that, and get rid of some of the excess ink. That would um, that would do it, and clean my hands at the same time. See, that looks better um, already. Um, so I'm going to put that through. So I'm going to have a play around now with the composition of of this, and then I shall come back when my piece um, is is finished. And there we are. Oh, I absolutely love that page. 
Um, so there we go, completely out of my comfort zone, a style that I'm not really comfortable with, you know, colour scheme that I don't normally work with, but I just love the way that that has turned out. I've got a few stringy bits as well that um, I need to get rid of. Um, but, you know, the focal image was made using my glue gun and just materials that I already had. Um, the little tag was just printed out on a piece of recycled cardstock and that, you know, I tore with my, my ruler. And um, and so there we go. So I hope you like that. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and let me know what you think in the comments below. So there we go. Art Journal, journal Prompts Week 3. Um, the theme is music and I look forward to seeing what, um, what your take is on, on this particular prompt. Anyway, take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.